All right. The first thing we do is I'm going to go back a little bit memory lane, right? Aww. And one thing, yeah, this is, do you guys remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Okay. Well, when I'm going to go to my algebra classes, I'm going to have to teach them how to factor out the greatest common factor. And one thing that we have to do is we have to look at this and remember we have to say, well, what do we factor out here, right? And you could say that both of these terms share a 3. So we can factor them out, which will produce us a factor 3 minus x, correct? Remember, when you factor out a 3 from a 3, you're still going to be left with 1. Because when I do the straighter property back again, I get 3 minus 3x. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We are going to be doing the exact same thing with our trig functions. It's the exact same process. Okay, so I know this looks a lot more confusing than this, but it's the same thing. What do these two terms share? Tangent squared. So I'm going to factor out a tangent squared. And what's going to be left over? Well, since I took a tangent squared of x out of a tangent squared of x, it'll be a 1 minus sine squared of x. Now, the only thing cool about this is, remember here, I couldn't really, I can't do 1 minus x, right? Because that's not a, uh, those aren't like terms. But what's cool about this is 1 minus sine squared, we can use our trig identities to simplify this. So now I get tan squared of x times cosine squared of x by using my Pythagorean identities. Then I <laughs> then I can rewrite sine squared of x over cosine squared of x times, okay, that's a little gross now, all over this. So I rewrote tangent as sine over cosine. And the reason why that's so helpful, Brendan, is because what happens is now I can cancel those out, and I'm just left with sine squared of x. Isn't that cool? Isn't that beautiful? That's oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is beautiful mathematics.